and the things of the life to come in order to be able to cope. And sometimes we're going to find out that we grabbed onto things in this life that we really shouldn't have. And what happened? It made things worse. And then we look at what we have to look forward to and what we believe, what our faith tells us. And how much of that have we grabbed onto? Advent is a time we need to grab onto more of what our faith has to offer us. And in so doing, we make a straighter place out of this world and a path for this God to come to us when the end of our life comes, when the end of time comes, and particularly in a very spiritual and sacramental way when we celebrate Mass at Christmas. So let's uh, not be too overcome by the fact that things are not perfect by any means, but let's allow the words of the scriptures today to make a change in our lives. We have two people here who would like to be part of the ministry that uh, takes care of the people who actually do respond to God's call. That's you. Um, and uh, they're going to become Eucharistic ministers, so we're going to need a book bearer. And you can go right here. And I will first ask those who are going to be commissioned to be Eucharistic ministers, please rise. You probably weren't surprised, were you? <laughs> okay. Irene Pierce. Whoopi Nettles. Why don't you come here and stand here? Dear daughters in Christ, as people chosen for the ministry of the Eucharistic minister, you will have a special role in the church's ministry. The summited source of the church's life is the Eucharist, which builds up the Christian community and makes it grow. It is your responsibility to assist priests and deacons in carrying out their ministry and as special ministers to give Holy Communion to the faithful, in the liturgy, and to the sick. Because you are specially called to this ministry, you should strive to live more fully by the Lord's sacrifice and to be molded more perfectly in its likeness. You should seek to understand the deep spiritual meaning of what you do, that you may offer yourselves daily to God as spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Him through Christ Jesus. In performing your ministry, bear in mind that as you share the one bread with your brothers and sisters, you form one body with them. Show a sincere love for Christ's mystical body, God's holy people, and especially for the weak and the sick. Be obedient to the commandment which the Lord gave to his apostles at the Last Supper. Love one another as I also have loved you. Please rise. Brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord for those chosen by him to serve in the ministry of Eucharistic minister. Let us ask him to fill them with his blessing and strengthen them for faithful service in his church. God of mercy, through your only Son, you entrusted the bread of life to your church. Bless our, sister, bless our sisters who have been chosen for the ministry of, act of a Eucharistic minister. Grant that they may be faithful in the service of your altar and in giving to others the bread of life may grow always in faith and love and so build up your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Those who have been chosen to bring up uh, the gifts of bread and wine, please come forward and you can step here. Step here and stand on either side and face that way. And then you can come down here. Yes, that's good, that's good. I really probably at first just bring somebody bring up the bread and everybody else can wait just a moment.
Okay, now you come around first. Take this vessel with bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. May your make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of his church. Amen. Amen. Okay. Go back. You come here. You can go back here. That's okay. <laughs> Take this vessel of bread for the celebration of the Eucharist. Make your life worthy of your service at the table of the Lord and of his church. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now you both stand next to each other right there. Please here. And you can go back to your place. Okay. And now the gifts of bread and wine will continue to be brought forward to the celebration of the Eucharist. <laughs> 